Did you know that Phyllis Hyman once had a bone to pick with Dionne Warwick? Well, the year was 1989. Dionne Warwick releases Airsta's Greatest Hits. The album comprised of Dionne's biggest hits while on the Airsta label, such as I'll Never Love This Way Again and Heartbreaker. But the collection also includes four new songs. One of those songs being Walk Away. Walk Away was originally for and recorded by Phyllis Hyman and was ready for release in January of 1988 for her album Prime of My Life, which was intended to be released later that year. She had even begun performing Walk Away in live performance. In the meantime, Dionne Warwick somehow gets her hands on it and records it. If Walk Away sounds like something you've heard before, it's because its writers, Marty Sharon and Ken Hirsch, penned another popular ballad that we all know. which was originally recorded by Dionne Warwick, but popularized by Anita Baker. Phyllis's Prime of My Life album would be delayed again and again and again. In the midst of those delays, Dionne releases Walk Away as a single and begins promoting it in the UK. When Phyllis found out about it, she called fellow musician and friend Michael Grimaldi up and said, Mike, did you hear the news? Dionne Warwick stole my song and put it out before my version even hit the market. That song was written for me by Marty. Needless to say, Phyllis was very upset about the song slipping out. But good things come to those who wait. When Phyllis's Prime of My Life album is finally released in 1991, she gets her first number one record with Don't Wanna Change the World. But you can't help but wonder, if things had gone to plan, would Walk Away have been a major hit for her?